parts of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, from what the, I remember, it's a little early in the morning, about 10 till 6 a.m. Uh, we're going to meet up with what's going on here at the inn. Talk to the innkeep, see if we have any information about Siri. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? <clears throat> Give me a bottle of something strong. Good man. Like those little wooden shot glasses. It's pretty cool. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Haven't finished, finished, finished my drink. drink. In cape, vodka. <laughs> Who's this? A brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You his collars are ridiculous. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters. The other, for humans. <laughs> Only got one prick, though. In case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. <laughs> Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. It's the first time I've ever chosen that. Usually there's a fight. I step in the hood, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think of himself. Thanks for not starting a row with those swans. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Alright, I think there's a mission along with this guy here. A witcher? And not a second too soon. Understand you have a contract for me. Oi. It's my brother, Mikkel. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village. Till the war passed through. <laughs> Huts were burned down, larders cleared out. All the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad. So Mikkel took them to the old mines. Get them out of the rain, at least. And I've not had word from him since. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back. They got lost is all. But if worse comes to worse, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of master clogs. Told him not to wear them into the hills. It only ruined him. But he was so proud of him. Think I know enough. Thanks. Alright, so we'll take a look at the for the brother later on, because I know it's like a level 35 mission. So, since we didn't start a row with these guys for once.
Level 33. Let's go and take a look up north in Novigrad. Faster. Time to head north. Got here in the woods. That was easy. Any loot that you can get off from? There we go. Show me what you got. Ooh. to the roads. That was weird. Lots of deer. It's a pretty cool sight. Where are you going, little necker? Mutagens. Sweet. So we got a key and a letter of some kind. Oh, rune stones. This mess again.
try this again. Okay, so it's done. Quests. Take a look at treasure hunts. You know what? Let's go on into this uh, treasure hunt here. Oh, it's a level 12, but. Hey, uh. Uh, so there's some around in here then. Bees. Uh, let's get away from the bees for a second, Jesus. Take the beehive. Let's clear out these bushes. Take that honeycomb though. Oh, come on, turn around. not that hard. Take the honeycomb though. Alright, so looks like we got some new pants too, so let's see if that's gonna be an upgrade. Comfy. this oh yeah we're gonna go take and uh, talk to Trish Power 
Pirates of Novograd. This is a mess. Really? Daft beast. Probably shouldn't have done that there, mate. Is there anything that you guys were hiding around here? Nope. Alrighty then. Moving on. Stop, run you fool. Alright, so. Go on, Roach. God, you're so useless. It's time for me to go. There's the big city. See how close are we to leveling up? Oh, right around the corner. Corners of Novograd. Sweet. And the Glory Gate. All the good stuff over here. That's pretty sweet. All those things have been looted. Got a buckthorn there. God, the water and the fish. This game is beautiful. Alright, so. 
got? What do we got? Plus 19. I'll take it. Sweet. Our defense rating is definitely picked up after that. Requires level 4. What's the armor rating for those again? Could be 10. What I'm wearing is 9. We'll keep the nines. Looks like Roach made his way inside. Yep. Find some food. What was that? I'll get up there. What are you? Oh, crap. You guys are gonna kill me. Sun's finally coming up. This again. Hey yeah. All right, let's change our quest. Gonna visit Trish. Take care of those hey. bandits again. Come on. Roach, okay. I'm ditching the horse. It's too fucking useless. It's taking a wee. Guy. Damn. Why is it always the naked guys want to fight? Oh. Shouldn't have done that, bro. All right. Let's see here. That's good. Get through these woods without dying.
Back to the glory gate. Found the smuggler's cache. There we go. There's one down. Two down. Three down. I don't think we got that sick armor this time. Which would suck. Let's find out. Nope, we got it. Plus one, minus one. Sweet. I hate how all of the bigger levels of armor is just so frumpy and big. Officer, taking a rest for witch hunting. Your honor. So many party tardy. Let's go and track down this uh, blacksmith. Back at you, buddy. <laughs> She's purr at me. Alright, so I guess he's on the other side. There he is. Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? You joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori. Former master swordsmith. <sighs> Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one. <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Mm, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. All right, let's see what you got. Very nice. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though all supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver frequently. Try negotiating, making a deal? With Van Horn? You jest. He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... Well... It sucks. <coughs> it really sucks. Forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? 
Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Yeah, that's why I'm here. Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Take it he's important in the underworld, too. Yes. What's more, he's on piss-poor terms with Cleaver, who backs Van Horn. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Down. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I oh, badly girl. need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. I'm down. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to kill me. Yeah, level 24. We're going to back off on that for now. What was the... Alright, let's get, just go talk to Trish. Oh, that's attractive. Ugh. Another priest of the eternal fire. to a merchant real quick. Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there? Alright. Let's see what you got. Nothing that great. We're gonna sell. 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 Sell, sell, sell. Don't need two. There we go. Doing pretty good on gold now. What's this all about? on that guy good god no evil can survive the holy fire the holy fire enlightens burns and cleanses behold the flame of grace and mercy special fire for you freak nice slow burning you'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you Oh, look at the doppelgangers. Sure, I'll 
Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Was that Trish got out of there in a hurry? Hey, shut up. We're looting here. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, look he thinks he can scare us off. Three. Uh, you're dumb. Damn. Come now. We'll, we'll split it. Plenty here for everyone. I'm not as funny how that happens. Bring out a sword and people talk. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's this guy again. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offense? This is some sorceress bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings, mm -hmm. and the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You that know a bat weird. can sniff out a moth a mile away. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine. And the eternal fires. Yep. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. I know that you you'll make a mistake. It's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. What a colossal prick. to use one like this.
Tresses. Never knew her to drop them on the floor. The rose of remembrance. All dried up. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! Let's go! Get some more levels up before we take on these guys here. I think the lady's grown tired of your company. Lady? What lady? See her ears? She elf. And everyone knows elves are always doing something on the sly. I'm not doing anything, I swear it. I must just fetch some water. Where will you put it? Where's your jug, eh? Where's your bucket? Leave her be. By what right are you giving me orders, eh? Let's go, Rennie. Killing's like batting an eye for witchmen. You can breathe. It's over. Over? For you, perhaps. You'll go on your merry way. But I must stay here. And they will, too. Nothing I can do about that. Then why get involved at all? You didn't scare those boars off for my sake. For your own. To feel just and noble. A knight on a swiving white steed. 
Or do I have it all? Go, Vatgern. And remember, we neither need nor want your pity. Ugh. Looking for double shots. Something unusual. A thousand times double shots. All right, then. Come on now. Bless you! Bless you. That's it, Roach. Wasn't so bad this time.
That was weird. Run, Roach. Air is strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. And the mist. Come on now. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. All right, well, what happened? Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see? And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads, I cannot hear them. here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell. And peace of mind to you. Do some investigating and see what we can find. Oh, that's gonna suck. Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key. 
key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole somewhere nearby, hopefully. All right, let's go in and examine here. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Booyah. left unlocked on display almost lost his mind or mm. Mm. interesting a ledger payment for a sack of grain Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Mm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair, scar on her face, avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle, or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Oh, goodness. Alright, well. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Is there anything else we can loot in here? No. Hey! That level up, though. Sweet. Well, that's done. Let's just take a look at the uh, rest of the houses here. See if there's anything that we can find. Oh yeah, loot it all. Nothing else here. Wagon in front of the door, so we're not getting in there. Let's go to this guy's house. Locked it. Can loot this one. Dwarven spirit. This door can open. A little bit of audio issues there. It's kind of. More audio issues. Really strange. So when we get to the Baron's castle, I'm gonna try to fight through and I'm just gonna skip right to the side of the of Crow's Perch. Take the underground passage. That I know is there. So we don't have to waste time trying to get our way in we can just go right on in and skip ahead of a couple of cutscenes and dialogue scenes and save our money from having to bribe the old man in the village
God damn it, Roach, come on. Thank you. to go this way. Turn right. Past the hanged men to the shrine on the left side. the shrine. Time to pop off. There's the cave. Water hag. Angry bitch. Save a few minutes. In Fasima, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> Ooh. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality. Especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. Hey, where to put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is! A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blobtits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blobtits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. 
How do you like it here in Velen? Didn't come here to talk about the scenery. You're wrong to avoid the topic. You've just arrived, plain to see. And the local swamps and bogs, they're interesting to say the least. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Oh, God, this chair's too comfortable for so early in the morning. Ah. That's why you've come, isn't it? Yeah. So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Alright, playing a Siri. When you play a Siri, you cannot access the inventory or use signs. <sighs> find the way if we set off together what happened to you this it's nothing uh, how is it that she's here how did you wind up here my father brought me told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill he said he would wait so I started down the trail then I saw a butterfly and I ran to catch it and I lost my way all right. Let's we'll see if she knows how to get home. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come. I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. Yeah, I'll protect you. See what I've got on my back. Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Alright. 
I was just sitting there eating. But <laughs> Alrighty then. You can come out now. Why you're brave? My father can even do that. Mine could do a lot more. Come. Look! There's something there. It's a body. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But no buts, stay here. I must see something. Check his eyes. Mm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Oh. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there. And look away. Hmm. What's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except, he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He... had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, bull's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. All right. Often send their children out to follow the sweets. Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the path ends. This way, through the cave. You live through the cave. Come on. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. no. What's up, ugly? Oh, 
There you go. Why, you really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I might not miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hounds on you. So, stew any good? Very, thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten, and you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. <sighs> I this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss, commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. All right, let's make a deal. Fine, I'll help you. I'll find your family, but then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God, this man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare, I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Hmm. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. All right, let's go see what we can find out in their rooms. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on the wall once. Did you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. 
Papa, is that Deer's no, wolf no, on no, the no. other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? Oh, oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Our bedchamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, One candlestick. I want everything to Stems be broken. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I don't look for clues. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Ervalus. Sent as and died. I wonder where it'll lead me. Could use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Let's go check series room. You white one. So Siri was here. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevort. Where'd Siri get this? Spinning top, Gritka's toy. Let's talk to Gritka. Thistle. So you're Gritka. I am, and you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. What friend? Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. See if she knows where Siri's at. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast, and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. 
Alright, so she's done. Use some hair of the hound. Got All right, let's talk to the Baron. First, let's read this book. Hmm. Dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Don't poking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Wanna have a chat with this Pella? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just wanna ask about the amulet. Look like you got soused last night too. Nope. Some guards. So I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna head towards Peller's cabin and we're gonna go ahead and take care of the bear that's in the cave just to the west of it. So no roach. And then there's this guy that is trying to battle the hundred knights. Halt! Stand in you! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. What? Halt, I say! <coughs> I am Ronvid of the small marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. You're doing terrific. Honor made Bilbury fairest of all maids I know by dueling a hundred knights <coughs> to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have ninety-nine left after you. Alright, let's do this. At your service. Let's get this over with. I didn't take much. 
Had enough? Yes. Luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet... Next time I'm gonna Challenge kill you. me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword. Look at me the wrong way. And I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. Like a dog with his tail between his legs. All right. Let's head out past the Peller's hut. Find that bear cave and go ahead and dispatch the bear. Once we reach the uh, Peller's hut, I'm probably going to call this stream. Uh, take care of a couple errands now that everything's open up in town. It's about 7.30ish, I do believe. Yeah, almost right on the dot. So... <sighs> I'll be back around 10 o'clock for another stream. Of course, you can find all my videos on YouTube. Uh, let's flip this for this lady real quick. Yeah. And our dogs will get the mange. What's wrong? To the night blasphemers, pups taken profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Her cows will croak, her kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs, dogs will get, will the, get mange. the mange. Not the mange. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. To me, someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Already got a job. Already got a trade. I'm a witcher, restoring traditional roadside structures in wood. Just not my specialty. Fighting evil, that's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. Sure, lady. Sure. Fine. I see any damaged shrines. I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts. And the gods will guide you. All right. So do you. Want to walk over the village? Remind the pumpkins who we are. Looking back your arm. So there's the Peller's Hut. We are going to find the bears. Cave, I think it's on the other side of this hill. Tiny valley. No bear. Hmm. Alright, I guess I have to start the princess mission first. So here's what we'll do. We'll clear out the bandits. chat with him a long one yeah no maybe we can make a deal we'll not plow in bargain with no one vengeance that's what we want did you leave or die get the hell out now <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without corpses 
Her mages pay top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. Alright. Alright, so I think we're going to call it for now. I will see you guys in the next video.